Welcome back everybody. Today is the 11th of February 2022. In this video, we're going to be talking about some updates that's happening for Juno. I'll be giving you guys my two cents about what's actually happening with those updates, as well as where I think those updates are going to lead the entire Juno ecosystem. But before we jump on into everything, if you guys would do me a huge favor, like the video, subscribe to the channel. I will have you know that when you do subscribe to my channel, not only are you being a great supportive person, but you can win yourself some crypto once we hit 1000 subscribers. I was giving away a 50 inch flat screen TV and or an MSI 2060 GPU, but based on feedback that I got from the community, instead what I'm going to be doing guys is giving away the equivalent amount in crypto to two lucky subscribers once we hit 1,000 subscriptions here on YouTube. So do me a favor, do yourself a favor, do everybody a favor, like the video, subscribe to the channel. So right now guys, we're on Twitter. We're looking at the Juno tweet that just recently came out. It's letting you guys know that Juno's on-chain proposal number 14 is now live for voting. It goes on to saying description, Juno swap interchange decks, LP incentive, Kickstarter. So what this is all about is kickstarting the incentives for the Juniswap decks, guys. Let's go ahead and take a look at the proposal in itself. So what I'm going to do is review this proposal really quickly so that you guys can better understand what this means for the Juno ecosystem and what this means for the Juno Swap decks, guys. As you guys can see here, it says interchange decks liquidity Kickstarter. The Juno Swap core development team requests 2,999,205 Juno in order to kickstart liquidity incentives on the interchange decks. The following pairs will be incentivized. Juno Juno Atom, Juno Raw, Juno UST. This is beneficial in order to increase early liquidity and most importantly to ensure that price slippage is reduced. The proposal, if passed, would distribute the requested funds to a multi-sig managed by Core 1 Stargaze, uh, Core 2 Needlecast, Core 1 Stakefish, which will deploy the funds to the above mentioned pools on a monthly basis starting once the external incentive contract is completed and tested extensively. Should the contract for whatever reason not be production ready, all funds would be returned to the community pool. Proposal 14 incentive program will last 365 days. Again, guys, you can see the breakdown right here. Juno Adam 3,287 Juno a day. Juno Raw 3,287 Juno a day. Juno UST 1,643 Juno a day. The important notes to remember, guys, these incentives will go live upon completion of the external incentive contract. Now, this is also important, so keep this in mind. Retroactive rewards will not go into effect for this proposal. Retroactive rewards words may come via raw and the Juno swap DAO guys. So keep that in mind. I know like myself, there's a lot of you guys that's already been providing some liquidity on the Juno swap decks, hoping that we will see retroactive rewards given to us in the future. This isn't going to happen on this proposal, but we could be seeing it with raw coming forward guys. So keep that in mind. So really, really big proposal right now, game changing proposal for the Juno swap decks. So before we end this video, let's go ahead and quickly take a look at the Juno price and see what we've been dealing with right now. We're trading for $28 and 59 cents and as we saw $30 and some change not too long ago with every pump there is a dump or a retracement guys that is healthy that's totally normal I wouldn't go freaking out all too much guys this is absolutely healthy so right now don't freak out remember the long-term goals Juno has very bullish tokenomics if you guys want to know more about Juno go check out my playlist where I tell you all about Juno and why I think you guys should maybe get your hands on some again not financial advice just a friendly reminder also I do want to put something out there before we close out this video video. Crypto Tank is going to be renaming itself to Block 10 here shortly, guys. We run a community on our Discord called Block 10. I want to start making these videos more about the community in the Cosmos ecosystem, the people who are really important, the people who are in it every single day, the common man, the common woman who are in here making decisions based on what's happening in the Cosmos ecosystem. So we're going to be changing the name of the YouTube channel to Block 10. So yeah, guys, I just kind of wanted to give you guys that heads up. With that being said, I hope you guys are in profits. I hope you guys are doing well. Don't forget, please subscribe to the channel. Not only does it help me grow, but it helps the entire Cosmos ecosystem. With that being said, peace.